Hello and welcome to this video. In this video, we're going to pull back the curtains a little bit and talk about what accountants get out of QuickBooks Online. See, people who aren't regular to the channel, one thing you may not realize is I'm not just a QuickBooks expert, but I'm also an accountant as well. And one of the reasons I absolutely love QuickBooks itself is because of the tools it gives us accountants to be able to, give us, to, be able to help our clients along. And in this video, I want to explore that. If you're an accountant, then you should be using QuickBooks to its absolute maximum. Not just to give us the ability to file VAT returns and everything else on behalf of clients and prepare accounts and all that sort of stuff, but also giving tools to help us actually help clients. So join me as we go in and have a look exactly what QuickBooks Online can do for us as accountants and make sure that we're ahead of the curve. Roll that intro. <laughs> Hello, my name is Aaron Patrick. I am a chartered accountant, a certified UK trainer for Intuit QuickBooks, that QuickBooks chap on the internet, and also head of account here at Boffix. Wrong side, that side. Now, in today's video, we're going to be talking about how QuickBooks Online has a whole secret element to it, all about accountants. The place is called QuickBooks Online Accountants, original I know, but it's designed to give us the ability to be able to make sure that we're looking after clients in the best possible way. So if you're an accountant yourself, then this video is definitely going to be important for you because you want to be making sure that you are using the most out of QuickBooks humanly possible. But also, if you're not an accountant and a client, this one could be a nice one because you get to see behind the curtains a little bit. You get to see exactly what those accountants can do Currently, you can't. Okay, let's go and have a look straight away at exactly what us accountants can do in QuickBooks Online. Let's have a look. Okay, so welcome to QuickBooks Online Accountant. Now, as you can see in the top left-hand corner, we have a fancy different logo than what you probably used to within QuickBooks itself. And it's the QuickBooks logo with the word accountant next to it. And then for the more eagle-eyed of you, you'll also notice that our left-hand navigation bar isn't it normal black color? In fact, currently it's gray. And that gray indicates that we are in the QBOA section, the QuickBooks Online Accountant section. And with that gives us some extra features. Here on the left hand navigation, you can see we have the option to look at our client, which is the view I've got in front of me now. On here, you can see that I've got all my clients all listed there. And I can then see at a glance what's actually happened. So for example, on this particular client, it's not been updated since 897 days ago, uh, but thankfully there's only zero unaccepted transactions. Whereas this one has been updated today, but there's 17 unaccepted transactions. So that gives me a real good indication of A, how often that client is actually updating their software, so connecting the bank account, for example, and B, how up to date they're actually being. On that first example, it was great that there were no transactions for us to deal with, but a little bit concerning that it's almost 900 days since we actually utilized it. When that other option, the data was nicely up to date, but I had 17 transactions still to deal with. So they're not 100% on top of what they're doing. Also in here, I have the option to see kind of information about clients as well, so their email address, etc., and who's been assigned as the lead person to look after that client. I can also jump into my bookkeeping tab as well. And I don't think a lot of accountants know about this one. You see, from here, I can see when we started the review process. And we'll talk about the review process when we go in there. We can see here on the QBO case studies that this particular client, well, we've started the review, but we've not finished it. And we've still got the other three sections of the review to go. And I click into it, it gives me a bit of more detail of what part was started and what bit's still to go. So this is really useful because this whole section here means that I don't need to know individual passwords or anything for each of these clients. I can literally jump between the client as quick and easy as I need to. Also on the left hand side, I've got the opportunity to look at my team members as well. So here I've got my team members all ready and raring to go and their job title, and I can decide what clients they can and can't see. 
Then I get the Pro Advisor Portal. The idea of the Pro Advisor Portal is to make sure that the more I utilize QuickBooks, the more rewards I get for it. So the more points I have, the better options I'm gonna have through here, and it gives me a chance to really improve the way that I help my clients. But also I've got a whole training portal as well. And for anyone who's ever used this training portal, you may recognize myself as I'm one of the trainers who provides the training on here. We've got a core and then we've got an advanced certification. And it's key that you hear the word certification. You actually become a certified QuickBooks user by completing this training solution. And then we've got a work section just below. And the work section is basically a place where it interacts with QuickBooks itself, with your client's QuickBooks, and it gives you a chance to do some tasks as well. So I can see here that I've got 63 unaccepted transactions on here. That's probably a job that I wanna make sure it has been assigned, so I can assign it to someone and put it through from there. I can also see that I've got questions relating to transactions that are outstanding, and it can give me a chance to answer those questions and I can manage my templates as well. Maybe I wanna create a whole new project for when I do my client onboarding, well I can preview what that's gonna be and assign that. It's basically a practice management solution. And finally on the left hand side, I've got the chance to go into my apps area, where I can see all the different apps revolving around QuickBooks Online, and I can make sure as well that we can add these into QuickBooks and we can manage our apps on behalf of the client. And I find that really powerful. To our right corner, I also have the opportunity to look at subscriptions and billings if you're managing your client subscriptions. And I get some admin opportunity as well, like being able to transfer clients. But when I jump into a client, that's when I get to see some of the really good options that I have as an accountant. You see, when I click into the client and go straight in, notice the left hand bar, bar is now back to how we recognize it with that black bar status but also as an accountant I get the QB accountant section at the top. I also get an accountant tools area just here and this is where we as accountants can really do some clever things for our clients. We have the chance to have a quick links to chart of accounts, journal entries, reconcile reports, void and deleted transaction and closed books which is everything you've already got the opportunity to do. But we also have some tools as well for us. We've got our client request options. And gives us a chance to ask questions about QuickBooks to our clients, really powerful. And the reason that we find this so powerful if I go and see what they see, is it becomes a really easy to view area. So if a client wasn't 100% sure of how to use QuickBooks, it's gonna present the question of what you're asking for in a really easy to use format. While we're here, we're also in the My Accountant section, and this is what the accountant gets to see. The requests that have been put in there, and also those shared documents as well. So we can look and see and collaborate with our clients in real time. We also have a whole note section, so we can add some notes about the client. And we also have the opportunity as well to do reclassified transactions. And reclassified transactions are an absolute game changer. It's actually a feature that's in QuickBooks Advance, but it is for accountants the quickest and easiest way for us to clean things up. We can go in and make some adjustments. Maybe I've seen this where, or oh, we've got a mileage expense for some reason has gone to advertising. Well, I click on the button, I press reclassify, I change the account to what it needs to be, and I press apply. And if like magic is moved from advertising to travel in this case. And what gets really powerful about this is I can do multiple ones. And I've got this filtering solution here so I can quickly make changes. And not only can I change the category, but I can also change the VAT as well and class and location if I've got those activated. I get to do some report options so I can set what the default reports are gonna be and I can quickly look and see when the last time something was been reconciled. On the left hand side, I also get an option called overview, which is an accountant only view. And it gives me an opportunity to see what's happening with this client's books. So straight away, I know that the VAT's been turned on, what subscription they're on and what apps they've got connected as well. 
I can see the reconciliation status. I can see some common issues as well. So straight away in this one, I can see 24 undeposited funds, one uncategorized income and 95 debtors that's over 90 days long. I can also see the volume as well. As accountant, I get access to what's called accounts review. So here I get the same information for my overview, but also a whole opening balance adjustments area where I can put in opening balances. I can look at transaction review to see how clean the client's data is and the same with account reconciliation and final review. And finally wrap up, well that gives me an opportunity to tick to say, have I sent reports out? Have I shared information with clients? Or is there some additional items I need to do? Books review is designed to be maybe a monthly or quarterly update, whereas work papers is designed to be the place where I can make sure for my annual account, I get everything nice and tidy. I can put some review and adjust items in, I can mark items as reviewed, but then also been reviewed by a full reviewer as well. And I can add those all important supporting documents directly to here as well. Overall, the accounting review section is so powerful. It gives me confidence as the accountant that all the data in there in our, my client's books are clean and tidy. And that becomes so important for me because that means then I can rely on that data more, give the best advice I possibly can, or I know that there's more work that needs to be done and I can go and get that work done on behalf of the client. Accounting review is really powerful and gives me the confidence I'm getting things right for my client. Also, as the accountant, I can jump into the report section. I get an extra tab at the top here called Performance Center. And this is where I get access to lots and lots of data and reports that my client doesn't see. And these are more visual reports. So I can see revenue in a much more graphical view. I can see accounts receivable as a pie chart. And I can go and add brand new charts just here. It's really gonna help me explain to my client what's going on in their business. I can then export this data and then make sure that this data is going to go to the clients and help them along as well. And there we have it, that's what the accountant has for QuickBooks Online. You see, for me, QuickBooks Online is so powerful because of the extra tools that it gives us. It means that we as the accountant has all the tools we need to make sure that we're helping our clients go along. We have the option to be able to provide new licenses for clients or take over a license that a client's already using. Now, if you need to get access to your client's data, this is your simple steps on how to do it. Basically, you need to ask your client to go to the company cog line corner. From there, you want to ask them to go to the, to the your company section and then down to manage users. Now for manage users, you need to go to accounting firms. And at accounting firms, you can use the invite button just here. Once you get an invite, you're gonna be asked to put in your name and address. And at that point then, you can go and accept that invite. You can even ask the client to transfer their license over to you so you can pay for it on their behalf. You really do get all the options you need to be able to make sure your client has full support from you from a QuickBooks point of view. And what do you get as the accountant of the client? Well, all of those accountant tools we've shown the ability for them to appear in that list so it's easy for you to go between your clients and ultimately just gives you everything you need as the accountant to be able to deliver a rock solid service. QuickBooks Online Accountant for me is one of the most powerful parts about QuickBooks itself. It really sets it above the rest in terms of giving us more tools to be able to go and make sure that we're doing the right thing for our clients. And I've had a bit of a sneak peek of what's coming extra in QuickBooks Online Accountant. And I can promise you, it's really exciting. So make sure that you like and subscribe to this channel to make sure you're the first to know exactly what's gonna be released on QuickBooks Online. And that's it. That is a breakdown of what the accountant gets from QuickBooks Online. If you've got any questions about that, drop them below. If you want me to go into any more detail about what we've already done, also drop that information below. Now, speaking of more detail, the whole accounts review section from the monthly reports to the work papers we've already done extensive videos on so make sure you like and subscribe to the channel and go and find those earlier videos and i'll try and make sure i put a link in just around here but also don't forget to like and subscribe some future content as well 
QuickBooks is an online cloud-based solution. It means it's updating all the time. And this is an area that's going to be updated on a regular basis. So make sure you keep yourself up to date and make sure you got yourself liked and subscribed. And that's it. My name has been Alan Patrick. As always, this video has been an absolute pleasure to do for you. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye for now.